Refreshing Light Hits, Jewel 88.5. I'm Brian Master, and that's the Fab Four at 613. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome Margaret May to Jewel 88.5. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. How good. Are you? Now, you, you, you're you, bringing us, uh, you and your, your company, you're bringing us such a, a great treat next week, the Glenn Miller Orchestra, the the legendary Glenn Miller Orchestra. One of the greatest at, bands of all time. Absolutely. Live at Palais Royale. Sorry. That's right. They're coming back to their back home. Yeah, they played there in, the, played. in the 30s or 40s, That's didn't That's right. They? That, that, along with other greatest bands of that time. Yeah, Basie and Ellington. Yes. I learned that uh, you, those days about there was about 1,000 people dancing in Palais Royale six days, uh, uh, six days a week. Wow. Would that believe? <laughs> That's well, amazing. apparently they used to come across the lake from New York State oh, and they'd right. moor their boats and have an evening at the Palais Royale. Royale. Yes, obviously today Palais Royale has re- been renovated and is absolutely most stunning and gorgeous venue, I think, believe in Canada. I believe in Canada. I'm right. looking forward to seeing it. Yes. You it's haven't a, been there? It, yeah. No, I haven't been there since it was renovated. I uh-huh. actually played at a couple of functions there before years ago, before it was renovated. Mm. And when you're in that room, you can feel the history yes, of all the music that's gone before. Yes. Now, do you know if they kept the sprung dance floor? Yes, that's they the did. only last one sprung, uh, uh, cantilever floor left in Canada. Cantilever floor. That's wow. Yes. So uh, now you have a background in the music business. You're is, famous. Oh no, no, no don't <laughs> exaggerate. No, I, I, well, I've got my education. I uh, the, uh, at, in Poland mm-hmm. uh, at um, opera school. Uh, prior to that, I went to theater school. So I have diploma in acting as well. But um, when I've worked here about m- more than twenty years and. Uh, and I, you know, um, started to work with music in music uh, with different groups and orchestras and cabarets and so on. But lately, I am mainly um, producing. Yes. And also being involved in epi- for epilepsy cause. Yes, that's a great cause. Uh, I just want to touch on one thing. You're going to sing on Tuesday night? Yes. Oh, good. Yes. Good. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I'll be your MC that evening. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Now, you mentioned that uh, your cause is epilepsy research. Yes. And uh, why did you choose that path? Uh, in 1997, my 10-year-old, uh, at this time, my lovely son, um, he got his first uh, first seizure, oh. and uh, since then it's been 14 years, and he, his epilepsy worsened over the years, changed patterns, and uh, he has actually does those of epilepsy that are called uncontrolled, and they are about 30% of patients uh, suffer of this kind of disorder, which is uncontrolled by any available treatment. Wow. And there are no, there's no help. And some of them have may have about 100 seizures per day. A day? Or, a day, or wow. 60 per day. And they deteriorate in silence. I see young children and I see, um, you know, young adults. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I've been, um, I, I know one boy for about a few years now, and I see how quickly quickly he deteriorates because he's basically having about 60 seizures per day. Now you've picking up you've picked up the gauntlet and you're raising funds for epilepsy research and have you seen the fruits of your labors? Uh, yes, for about a few years, uh, we've initiated different issues, like different uh, events and mm-hmm. uh, and initiatives. We uh, organized an international conference here, uh, one on the treatments that brings a lot of hope uh, for Excellent. people with epilepsy, and also uh, we organized awareness day at the um, Ontario Legislature, which this year it's so it's already been three of those that happened Good. every year, every March, because March is epilepsy awareness uh, day in uh, month. Mm-hmm. And this year was really promising, and it was uh, we had uh, we're still looking for outcomes of that, working still of, on whatever we touch upon. About there was about thirty people from different organizations uh, that work for epilepsy, scientists and clinicians and families, uh, and we s- uh, we had about thirty meetings with. Uh, uh, government officials, Good. MPPs, and so on. And one of the outcomes is uh, that uh, we were able to um, to apply for a, a multidisciplinary grant application to newly, newly um, established um, br- Ontario Brain Institute. Excellent. And that uh, we are just waiting to to you know to see what where that's going to bring us and what exciting research for epilepsy is going to to come. So when people uh, buy a ticket to see the Glenn Miller Orchestra to dine and dance the night away at the Palais Royale, yes. it's really going to a terrific cause. Yes. And um, how do people get tickets? Oh, you can get tickets through Ticket Window. Mm-hmm. And uh, the number is one eight seven seven 
800-731-3130. That's 1-877-731-30. Or go online to ticketwindow.ca. And right. uh, yeah, I'll look forward to seeing you there Tuesday night. Have you heard the Glenn Miller Orchestra recently? Yes, I I, I heard them uh, late uh, on in March. I mean, mm-hmm. sorry, in in June when at they Roy were Thompson Hall. at Roy Thompson Hall. They Stunning, were, aren't they? They were fantastic. Yeah. Yes, it's a great night out. I mean, there's this na- the nostalgia and the accuracy mm-hmm. with which they play that music. And you know what? Really I didn't even hesitate to invite them two months later. Because some people say, you must be crazy, <laughs> they were just here. But no, we are almost sold out, but there are still seats available. Excellent. And uh, they are going to play double amount of time they did then they played. Really? The, uh, yes. They, wow, they, they are going to play under three hours. So wow. that's a great opportunity. Oh, that's a bargain then. Yes, and then you can dance as well. So. Awesome. Yeah, we were saying when we were watching them uh, uh, between songs, I said to my fiance, wouldn't it be great to see them at Palais Royale? I mean, that'd you, just you be an o- yeah, overload mm-hmm. of history. And then right. we're walking, we left uh, the hall and they're handing out your leaflets for, for your dinner dance coming mm-hmm. up in yeah, uh, next so. week. Margaret May, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. The Glenn Miller Orchestra live for dining and dancing in a concert. In a concert uh, for music to end epilepsy. Music to end epilepsy. That's what right. a great cause. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Great. I'm Brian Master. This is Jewel 88.5.